more Sony stuff here. Uh, they do, in fact, apparently have something in the works for Game Pass, but Jim Ryan, the CEO, uh, said that news will come in the future when uh, asked about what it could be. So they, they have something that they're not ready to talk about yet. Um, uh, I would be shocked if, if we got further than E3 season and we didn't hear about an answer from mm. Sony. Um, just because, uh, like, so... And I know we semi talked about this last week, but this is a bit more this is a bit more detailed uh, than just the the kind of high th- uh, like high level question I asked last week. What I have here in my notes as I've written it down is no, but really, what the fuck is Sony doing? Because uh, if you look at every move that they've made since they lost um, their last CEO in 2019, and I cannot think of his fucking name off the top of my head because all I can think of is Jim Ryan right now. Uh, he did an amazing job while he was there. Uh, and they parted ways in 2019, he and Sony, uh, after he became, like, the head of the global, uh, when they said there was, like, an internal power struggle, which is usually a... He wanted to do go in one direction with, with the PlayStation, and Sony wanted to go in another direction. Um, and... That was very telling to me when that first happened because there was so much success. I mean, think of the success of the PlayStation 4. It's the most successful PlayStation basically of all time by Mm -hmm. no small margin. I mean, the amount of of fucking consoles that they moved and the amount of games that they moved and the studios they built up in that generation and created the stuff that we are now, that they're basically living off of now with the PlayStation 5. Yeah. Is in or you there was zero 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 faults that this guy made. He made zero missteps. Now, granted, he didn't exactly have a lot of pressure because Xbox couldn't have possibly <laughs> had a worse fucking go with last generation. So it's not like he had to, like, you know, actually have his guard up. But at the same time, sometimes it's even easier to make mistakes when you have no pressure, right? You, you get lazy. But he wasn't yep. lazy. He fucked the game up. He came in and he fucked everyone over. I made it even worse for Xbox. And then... They fucking go ahead and, and, and separate, you know, you know, you know, part ways. So that was, that was very telling. So now we got Jim Ryan. And Jim Ryan is a very different CEO uh, from, from him. Sean Layden. Thank you, Maverick. So very different from Sean. Uh, Jim Ryan is like the guy that you pulled from another industry that was only peripherally interested in video games. Uh, probably doesn't play a lot, of, a lot of them himself. And, and is a good businessman, but doesn't give a fuck about games. So you're you you brought him in because as Sony wants to wants to like uh, I guess if it ain't broke don't fix it we don't want to mix anything up we want to we want to push this this narrative that we're the best place to play games so they bring him in and he's been doing just that he hasn't had to do a hell of a lot up to this point it's only 2019 that he came in it's not like he had a lot to do pandemic year 2020 uh, so he like took over the reins for the very last like the 11th hour of PlayStation 5's release. And now mm. we're just seeing his actual plans now kind of starting to become more public as we're moving forward. So what are those plans? Well, for one, uh, they're doubling, obviously, and tripling down on AAA-only shit. Uh, you do not hear anything below AAA coming out of Sony. Uh, they exist, but they reliquate them to, like, or relegate them, sorry, to, like, blog posts on their website. It's like, oh, we have some indie games, and yeah, we put a blog post up, go read about our (laughs) indie games. It's like they're the black sheep of the family. Yeah, we got some, but we don't want to talk about them because what we want to do is we want to talk about nothing but these $700 million budget quadruple A video games that we want you to believe are worth the $70 price tag and that our console is is, as expensive as it is because we're the best place to play games. We are the, the Ferrari of video game consoles. We are the price premium for a reason. We're so price premium, we don't even want to talk about the fact that we technically have indie games on our platform. We don't want we don't even want to mention it. It's plebeian shit. That shit that costs $14.99, fuck it. We don't want to hear about it. We want the $70, the $69.99, $79.99. That's the kind of games you can experience on the PlayStation. So we know that they're doubling and tripling down on that. And they've done so, so much that they are even, like we, I just mentioned, stripping their own teams to support other studios, like I just mentioned with Naughty Dog for The Last of Us Remake. And the perhaps the, the most, the, the boldest fucking move I've seen them make so far was them shuttering Japan Studios, I think it was last year, 
So, Japan Studios is one of those things that if you didn't pay attention to the labels on the games, you probably wouldn't know what games they made. Uh, but they've been with Sony for 24 years. It's a hot fucking minute. 24 It's basically the, the life of the fucking brand. <laughs> 24 years, more or less, right? Mm. Okay, so they made the from everything from like the very first 3D platformer for PlayStation all the way up to being involved in the launch titles for the PlayStation 5. That's their span uh, of dedication. Now, to list some of the games that you may recognize that Sony J uh, Japan Studio, uh, Studios has put out over the years, Legend of Dragoon, Ape Escape, Eco, Shadow of the Colossus, Demon Souls, Gravity Rush, Bloodborne, and they were included in the, uh, in the remake of Demon's Souls here on the PlayStation 5 launch. That's just a sample. Those are some of Sony's biggest and most core fucking franchises that they've had over the life of the console bef just before Naughty Dog came along. I think people associate Naughty Dog with Sony now more than anything because of The Last of Us and Uncharted. But if you took Last of Us and Uncharted out, pretty much everything I just listed is Sony in the modern era uh, and even before. They shuttered that entire fucking studio and said bye-bye. They shuttered it so fast and ended their contract with Blue Point Studios, who did the remake for Demon's Souls so fast, they didn't even have time to patch the game for bugs. They are separating themselves from absolutely fucking everything that isn't like basically Naughty Dog pumping out the same fucking two intellectual properties uh, at whatever quadruple, quintuple A, you know, fucking shit that they can get their hands on. Um, Sony stepping away from a Japan-centric thing is also crazy. Because it's a Japanese fucking company. Um, and, and Japanese companies normally put Japan ahead of literally everywhere else when possible. So that's another huge indication of, of uh, where exactly they're going. Jeff Grubb, who is a journalist and a writer for, uh, uh, often writes for Games Beat, uh, wrote, uh, as far as I'm concerned, accurately this week, that PlayStation's new head, Jim Ryan, is making the play to simply sell a premium narrative, hoping that uh, it works out based on last generation's success. And while I agree with that, uh, as we talked about last week, and I think we both agree that this is a short-term success solution that is inevitably going to cause them problems, and fail versus Microsoft's long game that they've been piecing together. Um, if they don't, if they yep. don't wisen up to the fact that this is a short game play right now, uh, because you know last generation's narrative was more or less we're we're where you go to play games, which was easy because Microsoft had no games. So it was like the easiest narrative ever. It's like, you want to play some good-ass fucking video games? Buy a PlayStation 4. Because uh, Phil Spencer took over the Xbox One, which was the, this is where you come to watch NFL games as a PVR on your fucking console and had to somehow spin that shit in the rest of the, the life cycle of, of the Xbox One. So it was easy. And now they're trying to push this premium thing as a, as a thing on the back of Sean Layden's work on the PS4. So... I know we talked about that strategy versus the Xbox in, in the long term, but do you think that Jim Ryan is going to be successful as a CEO here in the long term? Do you think that he might end up being replaced based on the moves he's making now in the not too distant future? I don't know, man. I mean, it could go one way or the other. And I think... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's something I just, what we just don't know yet. Um, but at the same time, it's like, what else could there really be? Um, it's tough. Um, I think. I mean, we know they have to, I mean, we know that at least Jim Ryan is hinting that they have a solution for the Xbox game pass problem. But, but even if they have that, what are they going to put on it? If all they've got is triple A naughty dog shit being cranked out because they've shut down every other avenue for the console. I mean, you put I guess you put down all those games they you just listed, you know, Ape Escape, <laughs> uh, fucking Shadow of Colossus, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, and, uh, you throw you know Legend of Dragoon, you throw them all on there. Um I really don't know. 
Um, if I had to guess, it just seems as though Sony is doing the same mistakes that Xbox did in during the 360, where um, oh, you mean early Xbox One, not 360. early. Sorry, yes, early Xbox One. Yeah, um, where they thought we wanted something. And they went heavy in the paint on that, you know, watch football. Uh, Hell yeah, you know, football. You know, watch your sports. And, you know, we're more than just a gaming machine. You know, we're a home entertainment system. And, and you know, we're really driving that home. And I, I think Sony is gambling here. We'll see if it pays off. But something tells me that in about three years, um, we're going to see a Sony press conference where they come out and they say, listen, we've listened. <laughs> and the, cl the classic corporate, we listen to you guys on our forums. That's it, right? I think that's what we're going to see. I think we're going to see the, um, you guys have spoken out <laughs> and we've listened and we're, 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 we're going to be all about the games now, mm. indie games and, and the things that made you love us in the first place, you know, I think we're going to see that in three to four years when this inevitably smacks them back in the face. Because, I mean, this speaks to me, um, like what they're doing speaks to me as a consumer where, you know, I only want to play the best of the best, I mm. guess. Like, you know, if they're going for the premium thing, which it's obvious they are. Yeah. Um, it speaks to me. But I'm not sure it speaks to the vast majority of people that bought PlayStation and, and stuck with PlayStation for the games like the ones that you just mentioned, you know, mm. the Demon Souls, the, 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 the Shadow of Colossus, you know, it's those games that made people fall in love with Sony. Yeah. It's those memories is is what's turned people into diehard Sony fans. And unfortunately, I just don't see them. Uh, I don't. I just don't see how this works. But I could be wrong. There's a reason why Sony is successful, and they know what they're doing. But it's from the outside looking in. It's looking like uh, a, a a train wreck that everybody else can see except Sony. And I don't know. Like it all depends on what their trump card is, right? Because yeah. if they're saying they've got an answer for it, I mean they really might have the answer. Like you've got to have an answer if you're going to get rid of uh, this Japanese based powerhouse that has been with you since almost inception they gotta have something right that we you know just what, don't know about you know they and have, they're holding Jeff? it close to the chest i don't know you know what they have jeff they have quadruple a titles they have, they have, they have. no 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 they've got something better than that they got evo oh fuck yeah that's <laughs> that's uh, there's just so many things that they're doing that i'm going what are they doing yeah exactly like, it makes sense it's um, it's so it's so it's so hectic that it does make you think like it makes so little sense that you're thinking there has to be something we don't know right yeah it's kind of like when you're watching a tv show and everything is going wrong in ways that you were like how is any of this ha what is the fuck what is the m night Shyamalan plot twist where yeah. is jim ryan's m night Shyamalan plot twist or is this going to turn into another avatar the last airbender jeff yeah and i i I'm hoping it's not an avatar of the last airbender. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, man. Sony is so far ahead, like just in terms of it, like it's just its name brand and the, the people that have love for Sony, mm. um, that they can actually afford to take risks. You know, Xbox just can't afford to take any risks, which is funny because they're taking the most risk right now of the two, like yes. Sony's playing the safest. I mean, these are these these moves are obviously to the rest of us thinking we're thinking this can't be safe. You're you're axing most of your good shit, but they're doubling down on the already proven. Yes, they're basically saying like, "Hey, we're fucking king shit here." Yeah, and they're just hoping to God that you know we're making that analogy. It's like, "Hey, I'm a I'm a striker fighter, right? I've got yeah. hands like a motherfucker," and all they're doing is hoping that they don't run into Khabib. You know, let's just hope <laughs> there's no Khabib that shows up. Because we're going to be fucked if if they do, because we're just not ready to be on the ground. You know, we've just been have such success on our feet that there's just you know it's it's either arrogance and cockiness, um, complacency, um, or or they really have something that we don't know about, and you know 
they're 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 just gonna wow us all again and we're just gonna go holy fuck i mean they really did this is you know what this is reminiscent of this is really and truly reminiscent of playstation 3's era so the 360 it was the one era where xbox really pummeled playstation and playstation went what did they do they went in on premium their yeah. console was like way more fucking expensive the the architecture made it hard for developers to fucking make games because they were so hellbent on making this super premium uh, experience. And it wasn't necessarily just about the games. It became more of that towards the end of the console's life cycle. Uh, and that's exactly what happened with Xbox One. They went for a totally different fucking play. And then the end of the life cycle, suddenly it started to breathe life, breathe life back into itself. And now Sony's making the same. It's this weird fucking nobody ever learns from the past thing where they pass the baton back and forth and the only company not having a chance at holding the baton is Nintendo. Yep. Nintendo, except for the weird kind of quasi misstep with the, the GameCube and the Wii U. You know, it, it, never, see, it never bothers them because their handheld market always like compensates for whatever the fuck they yeah. do consoles on. It's just Microsoft and 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 Sony playing, you know, catch it, you know, back out in the in the backyard with who's gonna fucking fumble the next entire console cycle. So, um, man, I don't know. I cannot fucking wait for the E3 and Summer Games season, where we're going to be seeing the majority of the next year to two years of plays yep. from these companies, because especially Sony, we already know Microsoft's play. They they. They're very they're open. All in. Yeah, they're 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 like, hey, they're not holding anything back. This is what you see is what you get. Game Pass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And shitty and shitty Master Chief. This is <laughs> that's it. This is what this is what you're getting, right? <laughs> um, Sony, on the other hand, we're going. What in the fuck do you have in store for us? Because yeah, we like you. Most of us got your console if we can get one. But where are the games I love? Nobody really knows. The. Uh, so we'll find out. Question marks. Godspeed.